106, everything that rocks. You hear him, uh, you know him, and you've heard him many times from the Bob and Tom Show, and he's uh, got quite a stand-up comedy routine that he's uh, very proud of, and he's very funny, and this is, I think, we were talking the third time you've been in on the show. First time in the studio, second time in a broom closet. Don't read into that, people. Uh, and now we're back in here. We built this studio for you. Welcome back, yeah, Tim. Same fan. Yeah. Same dust on the fan. <laughs> yeah, it's still It's good there, to be man. back, Mojo. I appreciate it. It's good to see you, man. So uh, you're in town at Connections. Let's get that uh, business portion out of the way here at Connections this weekend. Two shows tonight and tomorrow. I've got tickets to give away to go see you, man. Uh, it, it, Connections is right up on Business 27. Easy to get to. You like coming to Lansing, dude? Great club. I'm. Uh, somebody was asking me the other day if... if uh, you know the difference between you know doing comedy clubs and in, in uh, towns and being out in Vegas and all that. And I told him, you know, I mean, they put me next to plowed land. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like to be around real Americans, and I would rather do comedy in a three hundred, four hundred seat room in a real town, you know, than out in the lights and all that kind of stuff. Which sounds kind of crazy, but that, but as far as actually doing comedy, I like doing it in Lansing better than I do in Vegas. You know? Well, and so I you love know what? we here. appreciate I mean, that. I just yeah. worked in Toledo, Ohio, two weeks ago. It was one of my favorite gigs I've done in a long time. Yeah, it, 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 Toledo. I hear a lot of that, man. A lot of the comedians do like going to Toledo and uh, Lansing. Hell, it's next to a bowling alley. You know, <laughs> you got a bunch of people losing their jobs, and you know, they, and, and they show up, and they're still in a good mood, and you right. have a good time. So, you know, maybe a lot of comedians come here, and it's like, oh, well, yeah, okay, yeah, we're going to work in Lansing. I'm excited about working in Lansing tonight and tomorrow. Well, we appreciate that, too, and I know our listeners do, too, because, uh, you know, nowadays it's not like you just pack up and go to the show. you got to think about it and say, hey, can I afford this? Figure out what you're going to do. You know, the thing about comedy clubs is, A, if you're going on a first-time date, comedy clubs is a great place to go. Because we'll entertain her, you know, and and you couldn't possibly look more warped and stupid than we do when it's all over you know (laughs) you don't necessarily have to talk to her we'll entertain her it's relatively cheap if you take her to a movie it's 950 to get in is you know 13 dollars worth of popcorn and a coke for just you yeah you you got that so money wise it's actually better to go to comedy club yeah and in the end you know what that's right you've made a good point man you can actually shine like a star by the end of the show when you got the comedians doing the dirty work right exactly that's what i always (laughs) tell them i I may be the greatest valentine's comedian of all time i mean they go you know you know you know you've got on a land landscaper outfit and sandals but you're not as bad as that hillbilly you know <laughs> yeah, so it right. makes you look better we're talking to tim wilson uh tim um you talk about some of the things you got going on we were uh, off the air we're talking about you writing a book you've got something going to press it sounds pretty uh, pretty cool yeah learned a little bit more about you man uh maybe a little detective inside you huh well, uh, first off, I'm working on a comedy CD. Okay. Is, well, we're in the middle that of that. Then. All so right. that's what I do. That's my day job. Okay. Well, that's my nighttime day job. Okay. And then uh, uh, my uh, another comedian partner friend of mine and I, Roger Keese. This is a weird a comedian partner friend of mine, Roger Keese. <laughs> he and I have been working on a detective book for about two and a half years, and we're just about to go to printer with it. So um, That's going to be cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a long drawn out researched long project that my wife is glad that we finally finished i bet and when it's when it's over i'll either win a pulitzer or i'll be the most hated man in the state of georgia well you know and, and something i assumed just because i'm an idiot sometimes was that this would be a comedic take on some detective work but it's not it's actually kind of a serious book about things that are going on does it have a title uh well uh you want to share? I don't it? want to give it to you yet. Okay. I'll, I'll when I when I when I've launched this book, I'll be glad to tell you. All right, good. But uh, it's a, it's almost like a dissertation. It's like trying to get your doctorate, you know, uh-huh. in in library research, reading transcripts, reading depositions, hunting through, you know, clerk of the court evidence rooms and everything else. It's a long pain in the butt that's finally finished <laughs> you know i've got an associate's degree and a guy who ran around killing people in the 70s so um, stay tuned as we say in radio exactly. right? exactly but but it, it it'll be, it's one of those things you're either going to believe me or you're going to think i've been smoking a lot of dope all right well in my world that either one of them's cool with me dude so <laughs> it's a good story i'll say that it'll be out in about a month and, and when i put it out i'll tell you the title of it all right we'll look forward to it and man. then i've got a little comedy record yeah. that i'm working on so 
What uh, talk about that, man? You're very humble, by the way. But you know, it's okay to brag a little bit about the work you're working on here. Uh, talk about well, your CD you know, if you I want. Mean, well, Larry, the cable guy, can come on and not be humble because he sells millions of albums. Okay, I've sold probably a half a million albums in ten years. You yeah. know, my glob is selling pretty well. You know? <laughs> but um, you know, I've been in comedy business twenty five years, and and a little bit of the competitiveness of it goes away after a while, and you start. You know, you just sort of work on what you do. You know, right. you're like a painter who's just painting his picture, and he could sure. he could care less what Van Gogh painted. <laughs> I'm gonna work on this. You know, right? So I think that was anybody who's with Picasso, wasn't it? Boy, he had, it took a, he was smoking something himself. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's no doubt. You look at <laughs> yeah. you, Picasso could do your basic average, you know, oranges in a bowl just like everybody else, and then he went off on something. Yeah, yeah. And it, it got really. You know, I was down. I went down to the Salvador Dali Museum down in yeah, Florida. Right. And you know, there was a guy who was smoking some of that stuff from Colombia or something. Yeah, you know. Back in the day, they used to have some really good stuff. That's what I heard anyways. But uh, we'll move forward here, man. Um, so, But I was an English major in college. And really? I've spent my whole life writing three-minute warped comedy songs. Yeah, yeah. So far, I've written, you know, Chuck E. Cheese hell. And now it's time to <laughs> to get out the 500-page book and put your, your college degree to work. So I just finished doing that. So um, Your parents still with us? No, my, my uh, mother passed away when I was a teenager. And my father... Uh, went in 1990. Well, I bet you they're pretty proud of you now, man. Putting the college education to work. They're like, all right, well done, Tim. Well done. Well done. But uh, that's real cool, man. Uh, what's your website so people can check you out, too? Can uh, you can go tuned. to timwilsonamerica.com. And, that is uh, timwilsonamerica.com. It's important to do that. And when your book does come out, people can get it there and uh, your comedy CDs and everything, too. Yeah, we'll have a... Uh, by then we'll have a. I've got a website. I'm working up on this book. It's one of those kind of things. This is one of those kind of books. I, if I tell you, it sort of ruins. Yeah, it. yeah. I don't want to pressure sort of, you. I feel like I'm like have painting to kind of, into a corner to tell me about it, but I don't mean to. Well, do that. Well, I'm in the process of getting the website set up for the book, and it'll have its own separate website that okay. you can go to and all that. And uh, I personally think that this is one of the greatest detective books ever written but you know hell i wrote it so. well hell yeah it, it, See, i'm not it, sounding humble now no it, but it's good man it's good that's self-promotion that's confidence man and that works in the world of business and trying to get in the sack with some chick yeah. um i'm well, living proof it, i got married about three and a half years ago it's taken pretty well so i'm not i'm not on a trim hunt like i used to be <laughs> Tim I don't know if you can say trim hunt on the radio. Can well, you? yeah, we'll we'll find out if we can't. <laughs> you know what you I mean? Know, it's, uh, <laughs> crown molding. <laughs> yeah. Trim. That's what right. we're talking about. Yeah, that's absolutely what we're talking about. Uh Tim Wilson's gonna be at Connections this weekend. And uh, you know what, man? It's it's great to see you, Tim. Um and it, it, incidentally, I do have to ask you this because you're my guest today. This is Spartan territory. Are you gonna take the Spartans tomorrow night over Connecticut? Oh, I'll definitely go with the Spartans over Connecticut. Last week, see, I live in Louisville, yeah, Kentucky. Right. I've been, Sorry, I've been living bro. in Louisville for four years. That's awesome. I was a huge Louisville Cards fan for the first three quarters of that game. Yeah. And then when the Cards went home at the beginning of the fourth quarter. Yeah, right. And the Spartans were out there on the court by themselves filling the <laughs> basket full of points. I became a, uh, a Tom Izzo fan. Yeah, you know, he doesn't mess around, brother. And, and, and correct me if I'm wrong here. That looked like a street fight at the beginning of the, of the game. Then it came down to the Spartans kicking the crap out of them in the alley, and the guys kind of turned around and said, "Okay, yeah." Okay. And 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 any, I mean, up, man. all the Louisville fans, I, I think, realized even if we did win this game and we got to the final four, we'd get obliterated in the final four because they did, they didn't show up for the last quarter. But so you know, so God bless the Spartans. Let's hope they win and. Uh, you know, Magic Johnson needs some more success. No, oh, right, right. Yeah, he does. Uh, and, you know, uh, it, it's uh, it's great to see you, Tim. But tomorrow night, after the Spartan game, uh, you know, you've got two shows tomorrow night again. And uh, you can come out. The tip is, what, 620. They can come out and celebrate the win and watch your show, man. Yeah, see, that's the thing is if, if you want to go sit somewhere in a bar and watch the Spartan game tomorrow, and, you, and it's going to make you miss my comedy routine. Come tonight yeah, to the show. Yeah, great call, dude. Come to the Friday night show and then spend Saturday supporting your basketball team. But you need to support your hillbilly comedian. Yeah, that's right, Who, who drove six hours to get here. <laughs> so make reservations for Friday show and then basketball on Saturday. You got it, man. Tim Wilson, man. Always a pleasure to see Thank you, my you, brother. Thank you, Mojo. I appreciate it. You got it, dude. Uh, check out his uh, Tim Wilson American. No, Ameri America. Just America. 
TimWilsonAmerica.com. TimWilsonAmerica.com. Look for him, man, and uh, you hear him all the time on the Bob and Tom Show. Keep up with the good work, dude. We look forward to your book coming out, man. Thank you, sir.